I've had a sneak preview of these new reels in the office. Right. Um, but at the, po at the time of filming, they're so new, I think they were like the only set in the country. Yeah. Apart from yours. They, they, yeah, I was going to say, there was two sets. <laughs> yeah. I had one set on the bank. Um, obviously, it's designed for casting. It's the yeah. DL Black Edition. Yeah. Um, and we've talked before about spotting and how important it is to have the right gear. Now, yeah. You don't have to go out and spend £500 on a reel to no. improve your casting. There are some key features that you look for in Absolutely. a reel. Absolutely, yeah. Um, so just talk me through what well, makes this so special. Line lay is obviously your main thing you're looking for yep. in a reel. Uh, if you haven't got good line lay, you're going to get tangles. Right. Uh, and it's not going to cast very well. And if you want to cast distance, you've got to have decent line lay. Um, and also, um, the tournament style spool on these helps no end. So it's forward tapered, so it's isn't it? It's forward tapered. And if you look at the reel, you look at the dimensions of the spool compared to the reel, mm. you know, it's all about the spool. Yep. Um, so that's going to help. So obviously that allows coils of line to come off more freely, doesn't it? It does. Because yeah. any resistance, any sort of drag, that's going to restrict distance, isn't yes. it? Yes, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Any drag's going to pull back on distance. Yeah. And also the way the line comes off the spool, it, it relates to the way the line's been put on the spool. Okay. So this has got, got what they call a slow oscillation, so it goes up and down. The bow line's going around fast, but the spool's yep. going up and down slowly, yep. and that will give you a nice sort of cross wrap. So it lays it down it in, lay yeah, it sure. in, in perfect <clears throat> coils, as you can see. I mean, that is a very, very good line. Mm, line that is, there. yeah. yeah. Um, but once you've got it out there, obviously, then it's all about getting it back. Mm. If you're fishing at range, you know, and you're casting and trying to hit a spot, you want to be able to get it back quickly, which it's got a good retrieve on it, yep. fast retrieve on it. Um, it's got very good gears, which is, again is very important. Sure. You know, you've got to have that power, but you've got to have the reliability. If you're doing it over and over again, mm. that you're not getting juddering and you know the gears aren't slipping. Um, and what about not... the drag? I know it's just front drag, isn't it? It's, it's a front quick, drag. It's a quick it's, drag it is a that. very quick drag. Um, so that's giving you your free spool system. You know, and then you're in fighting mode. Oh, it's like yeah, half, it, a turn, it's half a turn. Or, or, yeah, 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 it's yeah. hardly anything. Um, the handle again. You want a comfortable handle. Uh, to spin that over. So we've got a wooden handle on there. It's a nice big grip. Um, done nicely, I think, in the dark. Yeah, it does almost nice black that. wood. Yeah. It all goes yeah. in. Because at the end of the day, you know, you're sitting looking at it all. You want it to look nice as well, don't you? Of course you do. And you, know. and you know, carp fishing for me is becoming as much a fashion as it is yeah. a pastime. So yeah. it's got to look right these days. Yeah, a lot of the it? time you take more pictures of your setup than you do of fish. Yeah, so yeah, absolutely. You might as well have a nice setup. But no, I think it looks very nice all with the black, with the black wooden handle. Yeah, really nice bit of kit that. Yeah. But more importantly, it's actually going to genuinely improve an average got, guy's casting, isn't it? Without him having to spend a fortune, 100%. you can actually do better from that. Yeah, yeah okay. definitely. I think you're due to recast that, aren't I you? Am. So let's yeah. have a look. Okay. Right, mate. So, recast. Yep. Try and keep this one out of the trees, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Only kidding. Yeah, no, I've seen a fish show right over, right over on that back bank over there. Right. So uh, I'm going to whack one over there. Cool. Um, Tell you what, no, it's before you do, sorry. Uh, it's noticeable there, like you said to me before, it's all about the spool, isn't it? Yeah. It's not a great big body thing no, to make it really heavy and cumbersome. I was mean, just about to say, the beauty of it is it doesn't weigh anything. Mm. It is a really, you know, really And that's going to make setup. a difference as well, isn't it? Of course it, it is, yeah. yeah. It makes it yeah. easier to use, more sort of user-friendly, and, uh, and, and easier to cast. Mm. You've got a clonking great big beach yeah, cast sure. thing on the yeah. end there, you know? But it's not, it's a carp reel for distance carp fishing. Mm. Come on then, let's yeah. see it in action. Perfect. Even in that crosswind, you've yeah, got that there, no yeah. problem, haven't you? No, that's spot on. Good stuff. I'll leave you to it. Yep. Let's get that back in the rests.